Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to Tammy's Antique and Vintage Dolls and More. And here we see a doll that Tammy has just put brand new eyes in. Okay. So, um, now we've got, we're putting her head together. So, I've got elastics around her right now because what we're going to do is we're going to view her. She looks beautiful here. Look at this, how this lines up so nicely and how she looks and everything. I've started with some Millie Putt up here to get it to start to dry. But let's turn her around the other way because we see the lining up is beautiful. But then we turn her around and this is what can happen to your doll. All of a sudden, see all this Ooh, is happening. So scary. you will get dolls like this. Like we said, were, doll, were they accurate with a lot of stuff that they did back then? No, they weren't. But they fixed it through using putty and whatnot in there. And that's what I'm doing. I'm milly putting her. She'll be milly putted all the way through. You can get your hands up inside and you can form that putty so it doesn't go right straight through. I put my hand up in there and I pack it in there in such a way that we won't have um, we won't, we won't have it just always falling inward. You've got to be able to lay that on top get your hand up inside hold it so it doesn't fall through so that you don't have to keep feeding a hole an endless hole in there you want to be able to put your hand up in there and back it and pack it in and then have it nice and flush coming down here like this and you want to keep it squished into the area that you're working on and um it'll work out we'll we'll get get her put together another thing that helps me when it comes to this doll is that we got to keep the hole lined up so that we have a perfect hole which we do there can you see right through that hole john yeah, yeah yeah there we go you can see through that hole and that's what you want too so we have certain little things on this doll that we can do to, to line her up properly but this side is like i say is a beautiful seam one side is just gorgeous the other side well mm -hmm, we got some work to do but we'll just keep going at her and we're getting her head together the other point i want to make out to you is why why um I like when their heads are apart because you, look how I got into those eyes and I was able to deal with it with a half head. You got, you, you're able to work a lot better than now going up and blindly doing it. Though at times you're going to have to do that, you know, and you don't want to ruin, you might have a doll with beautiful painting going on, but the eyes have fallen out and you're going to have to go up there and blindly push those those bars in which i can imagine are going to be quite and the trick to do blindly put the eyes in and blindly put the eyes in that's right but anyways um we didn't have that problem with this doll but when it arises well we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to deal with it and that's what we do as doll restorers but um somebody asked me i can't i'm sorry i don't remember who if it was diane diana if it was you or somebody out there asked this question, why am I painting with oil paint? The reason I'm painting with oil paint and not acrylics anymore is that um, oil paint is such a richer color. Well, let's go back to the beginning of a doll. these dolls. They were painted with oil paint, okay? What's happened is, is that through the years, when acrylics came out in the late 40s, early 50s, uh, and would start to be more widely used, a lot of these dolls were being taken and given to restorers to restore, and they were being restored through the 50s, 60s, 70s with acrylics. Um, it was the new thing, the new paint, you know, type of thing. But if you see, I, now that I've worked with acrylics, acrylics are a nice paint. I'm not knocking them, okay? But oil paint is so much better on these dolls. It lays better on the wood. You can see the difference and um, the texture and the quality of the doll improves significantly a lot of my dolls that i've already done will be re there's a couple there that i like to well, actually four dolls i can think of that i would like to redo and i am going to look at doing it and repainting them also another problem was i've noticed that even with my acrylics that they're looking kind of kind of on the yellowy side more than the flesh tone side because i was very new at making flesh tone so i can take it off with alcohol water alcohol type of thing and we can get that acrylic paint back off restore put put the proper paint on them and believe me it is so much better if you can use oil paint and um it just you know paint a doll if you want to with acrylics if you can find a little cheapy little doll of um, a composition doll paint one with acrylics and then paint a second one with oil and i'm going to tell you you will see the difference and how that paint lays on that doll so much better and um, it just gives a quality to the doll that you can't get with acrylics. It just isn't there in the acrylic paint. It is a water-based paint. Acrylics is. Oil, um, the oil paint, of course, it says it all. It's oil paint. It's got oil in it. So anyways, 
I leave it at that with that there. I'm going to sit out here right now and just patch her up all the way down on both sides of her head. And um, I'll get this video up for you in a little bit. So thank you. Uh, have a good night. And thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.